Okay, good morning. All right, the twins, day two, right? Yeah. What are you doing, RJ? Keeping them separated because they're sucking on each other. Okay, so <laughs> this is a lot of fun, isn't it? Yep. From yesterday compared to today, how would you say uh, these two are doing? Great. They've still got dirty butts, right? <laughs> Um, how, how, how does day two look? Let's put it that way. Better. Okay, so yesterday they drank nothing but water. They got their medications. Um, he had to have Batril and Dex because he was panting hot from fever, correct? Yep. Okay, so, um, got the fever in him gone. Have you checked him to see that he's same body temperature as her? Yeah, he's good. He's good. Okay. Um, what's next on the agenda for these two? It's too oh, cold. Outside. It's too cold for them to go outside right now. Um, they're sucking each other's umbilical cords, and that's not good. So, oh, <laughs> he's challenging RJ, and she's falling over. Um, now, are they wobbly, son? Okay, but what, how come they look kind of, yeah, they're, they're probably, we're guessing seven to ten days old, so they don't have their legs under them just quite yet, and see, they're going to try and suck each other's umbilical cords, and that's not good. Move. Mama Cow says no. Normally, a Mama Cow will um, <laughs> kick and fuss at them, but this is why beef cattle have such a, a problem, is because they'll get infection on their umbilical cords from the twins sucking. So, how common are twins in beef cattle, son? We haven't talked really about that. He just... <laughs> they're very common. Okay, they're not rare, rare, but they're not common, are they? No. Okay. So, we're going to continue to do our little dance, and I think... I need to clean this stall because it had horse stuff in it when I threw him in it last night. But last night, Bidet was in labor too. So, um, here, um, I was going to move them over here for the day so that they can open this and it go in and out. So, we might try that. I don't know. Well, Ferdinand chased me to the outside pen. Franny has decided she didn't want to come. And RJ is... Just decided to carry her. She decided she didn't want to get her feet wet. There's morning dew on her thing on the grass. Oh, oh. easy, 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 easy. All right, come on. See, she can walk, she just isn't. Okay, now, RJ, what vitamin are they getting by being here outside and in the, huh? Vitamin D. Yep, vitamin D. Now, why is that important? So they'll grow big. Do we feed them vitamin D milk from the grocery store? Oh, look no. at Ferdinand. He's going to get RJ. No. So. And there they are. They're active. They're healthy. Well. They still got to get the poopies off their butt, but, and they got to have their medicine. They have uh, four more days of Corid, and, but once you get the scour stopped and get them some good nutrition, they're doing wonderful.